All right, let's talk weather here. Uh, kind of a wild day, but you said tomorrow is much, much quieter. Yeah, I kind of think that's the way it works. And especially with the past couple of days being as tumultuous as they were, it's going to be a stark change despite not a major shift in our overall weather pattern. That's just kind of the way it looks. Today we've seen everything from rain to snow to grapple and even a little bit of hail. Tomorrow we dry out a little bit and by the time we hit Friday we're talking warm and sunny weather returning to much of the northwest. Remember the big U shape over the western states. Still there. Still got a disturbance sliding over us. Still the same mechanism giving us the storms and with that abundance of cold air over the top of us we wind up getting more of what we've seen the past couple of days, which winds up being snow in the mountains, snow even here on the South Hill in Spokane a little earlier today, widespread grapple, and even a little bit of isolated hail. Some of the showers are starting to dissipate. Notice a few of these cells just kind of trying their best, but not necessarily staying together. That remains the case off to the north as well. This is just the past half hour. Deer Park, you're still in it. Tooele, I'm telling you, I think you're good. Colville, you might see a little stray shower out of what's off to your north. From Newport over to Sandpoint, you're kind of in it. Spirit Lake in it as well. Hayden, you're looking pretty good. Coeur d'Alene, you're looking pretty good. Tonight, these showers just keep winding down. Just basically going to slowly fall apart. It's less windy tomorrow. It's sunnier to start the day. And as we move into the afternoon, the scattered showers that fire off aren't near as widespread. It's just kind of these lonely cells tapping into the lingering moisture and lingering cold air overhead. So not as widespread. Thursday shows a little model indication that it does it again, but even less widespread than what we see on Wednesday. So we're just going to go ahead and call it kind of mostly cloudy. Tomorrow, chance of a stray shower in the afternoon. Thursday, mostly cloudy. As we get closer to the weekend, Friday's nice and sunny. Saturday, we'll see clouds build back in, but look at that high. Back up near 70 degrees. I think the clouds kind of stop us from doing that. Sunday, there is a chance of showers. Forecast models keep moving it back and forth. Yesterday, they had it on Saturday. I said, that's going to slow down. It always does. They're still keeping it on Saturday. I keep pushing it to Sunday. We'll see what Sunday looks like, but right now, I really do think that Bloomsday winds up pretty dry. Showers hold off until later in the afternoon. But either way, it just get out and enjoy it. A little rain never killed anyone. Uh, emphasis on a little in that a little rain never killed anyone. Tomorrow, yes. near 60. Thursday, back in the 60s. Mark? <laughs>